While this day can bring a lot of joy, it is important to remember that it also can be painful for many. In the case of one Chicago family, a mother is using this Mother's Day to plan her son's funeral. CBS 2's Sharday Gray is live for us in the newsroom with their story. And Sharday, it seems like an endless cycle for so many families grieving the loss of a loved one. That's right, Marie. Just yesterday, we heard from a mother whose son was shot and killed right outside of her home. Today, another mom speaks out about her son being shot and killed just five days ago. Family members tell us 22 year old Jamarion Lawson was shot and killed in the back of the yards near 45th and Polina Wednesday night. Chicago police say an off duty officer heard the gunshots and immediately called 911. Lawson was taken to Stroger Hospital in critical condition and was pronounced a short time later. Just yesterday, Diane Archer fought back tears after finding out her son was killed a day before Mother's Day. 26 year old Brandon Slater bought a cake for Sunday dinner. He was with his 27 year old friend when a suspect got out of a vehicle, pulled out a gun and started shooting. The family's gardener was in the backyard when he heard the gunshots and was struck in the chest, who later died from his injuries. Ernest Radcliffe spoke about Lawson. He's a coach at Morgan Park High School who strives to get kids into sports and out of violence. He says Lawson was one of his baseball players. This young man was a hell of a ball player. That's why I coach so hard to try to save all our young men. Lawson's mother says he accomplished so much in his life, graduating from high school and attending college, including being a tumbler for the Jesse White Tumblers team and was on a bowling team as well. She's not only grieving the death of her son, but so many other mothers who have lost their children due to gun violence. Reporting live in the newsroom, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News. We're certainly thinking of those families today. Thank you, Charday.